Hello everyone, I'm Drumat and today we're in a game against Zed on mid lane and we're going to try to present the matchup and how to do in every stage of the game from early to late. Now, if you look fast at this uh, point, it seems that I have <laughs> some players in my team and even their players, their Zed, 200,000 mastery points, wow! Well, it's going to be an interesting game. I expect skilled players. Now, we're in Diamond 3. I don't know what happened to my matchmaking rating, but I actually earned a lot of LP now. I do not have time yet to play a lot of games, but uh, let's try to focus on the few ones that I play and post, and uh, let's, make, let's make something nice out of it, okay? Now, why are we going here and not there? Oh my god, okay. Let's go, boy! First blood! Mm, never mind. Let's go, boy. Trust me. I got this. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so against Zed, I picked stopwatch and potions, as you can see here. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Careful, please. Okay, I'm gonna. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna just poke him. <laughs> so I got the first uh, blood there with my exquisite plan. Now, we're interested in camping that bot lane because their bot lane is one that is easily gankable. As you can see, Lux doesn't even have Aftershock, and I am against. A Z of all mid laners. And he also has quite a high mastery point score, so I doubt we're going to be the one killing him. I missed that yes, but matter. Okay, here properly positioning myself. Now against melees, as I told you in previous videos, your job is to push them early because they have no way to respond to it and after that they're going to be a bit annoying perhaps even try to kill you, some of them, like Talon. And against Talon, you should push at level 1 when he has no chance to <laughs> do anything. But yeah, you have to do the W. Now here in the Z matchup is the same. I'm going back a bit because I don't want nasty Kha'Zix players around. But you should be careful when you're pushing like that to the level 2 gank from Twitch players, from Charvan players, from Udyr players, from Xinzao players, and so on. In this case, it's not necessarily a level 2 gank happening. It will not happen, sorry, because they have a Kha'Zix, so I can push freely. And even if they would, I would keep the distance. As you can see, there is not really interested in focusing me down right now. Also, in the early phase, that's what you gotta do against some assassins that you can try to punish. I think Fizz and Akali might enter in this discussion too. But good players will always be tricky to fight. But still, with pushing early, it should be okay now. Top lane flashed. I see that, I got some damage here. No, 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 it doesn't no. matter. Okay. Now here, we've seen that Kha'Zix went into the river, so we can follow that. You have to try to follow the vision. I have to try to go for the vision. Okay, fast, 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 fast. Oh, really? Take it, take it, take it, take it. No, we don't, we don't keep fighting, okay. We could do it. Okay. We should win this. Yeah, that wasn't difficult. See? That wasn't difficult at all. Exhaust on Zed because he was the main source of damage there. He instantly jumped. Instantly got exhausted, okay? 40 damage percent reduction on the Z. Vastly important. I honestly think exhaust in this scenario was better than actual uh, than actual ignite. That's unfortunate. But look at the CS difference right now. If I play my cards correctly, I should win the game from here. I also have the book without using my potions. I also have high farm right now and I can push and uh, go bot and try to win there. It seems that 
button used when use the summoners her summoners I'm pinging where I think Kha'Zix will go next where it's logical for him to go next to go to go golems to the golems because we know that actually he took uh, his uh, Grom so that makes sense right and look at this abuse I love it so basically I sent Z back home it doesn't matter what are you doing buddy okay uh, fucking hell what I got stuck in the tower there that you seen that shit? sorry for the language but that was very unfortunate now me dropping Z very fast to a shiver of HP actually meant that we can kill him right there Master Yi went for it and this is an experienced player uh, don't expect from random low elo players to I don't know do such smart things he played very well those two fights I actually exhausted properly because Kazik doesn't have that much damage on that fight there so that gave us advantage I already have 100% kill participation and a clear way towards victory in this game now besides top lane every lane is doing fine I do not expect their bot lane to win okay remember they have Ezreal and Lux those are squishy champions they can get instantly nullified if they hook and engage properly especially especially with uh, the help of Master Lee now I do not know where Z is I'm gonna expect him to be around okay okay that was actually quite predicted randomly predicted but still okay moving forward right now I'm interested just to push there is absolutely no need to try to fight him because I can move bot okay I'm seeing their uh, there's jungle I'm I need to move bot right now I need to uh, assert dominance if I could call it so over their Kha'Zix and I am thinking that he's going to take this blue maybe I will take it because at this point I need to keep my advantage I need to keep me to keep myself afloat and this is one way to ensure that uh, I will keep doing the right thing now at this point against Zed if you have exhaust and you are ahead it's impossible for him to do anything and this is worth it but we see this thing here and I don't think they have time to react okay he could have turned around on me here I would have turned around but uh, that would have been a bit risky maybe because I do have exhaust remember that okay on the next episode of what to do in mid lane your goal now your main goal is to try to find those bot lane ganks when there are not many ways to do so as you can see here this is a moment to gank bot a perfect one actually and we need to deal with the tower now there are a lot of free plates here remember that I need to return to mid though look I ganked I don't need to ponder on their plates I actually need to keep the push on mid lane that's the mistake I seen actually myself to do a lot I've seen myself doing this a lot and uh, okay, you roam you do a good roam well it's not necessarily most of the time to immediately go bot lane uh, to immediately uh, go on the tower on the bot lane and uh, fight that plate well in cases where you have a master re like this you can just stay on mid lane and keep your farm advantage I'm gonna ping that Zed is missing but they are still fine I need to position myself as such I will not get instantly gibbed 
killed by uh, I don't know what gift means, which I don't know why I do that. I need to be careful of that Kha'Zix, okay? There might be a vision, or there is no vision, or okay. No, that's, this is a stupid call. But, I suppose, we can quickly do it. But we can get fast cornered here and... Okay. Okay. Got them, got them. You've seen what I did. Exhaust, flash, and I think they see me that I'm around here, but they do not expect me to be here. Yeah, I don't care. I want to give the shot down to Lux. Shot down to Lux. Shot down in Lux, it's fine. I mean, giving kills to the support that should deal a lot of damage but will not because we have a mastery and trash and nar that will insta kill her, it's good. It seems like a bad dive in theory, but I suppose if you die to their mid lane it's way worse, so I do not consider this a crucial mistake to do so, especially when we got another two kills out of it. Those kills maybe would have not been generated if we would have played well without being this aggressive. Now, if they had something like, think about it, like an Alistar, like even Nami maybe, giving gold shot down to her is never a actually bad idea, but do not tint it like that. So just, if you go to get a kill and you die for it, well, it's okay to get the kill and die for the support if uh, you do not, uh, if you do not have problems somewhere else on the map, if the Baron is not up and things like that. To trade gold is fine. Especially when you have huge shutdown and you give it to their worst member, if you think you're gonna give that shutdown regardless, it's a good thing to give it to the to their lowest member. Okay, so he's on me. Okay, that's a problem. Why did I use stop a shift? That's great, man. Okay, another kill to Lux talking about it. Uh yeah. Well, at least I focused for the first 12 minutes, guys. Okay, we're still gonna win this game, I'm sure, I'm certain of it. I will work my ass off, as I did till now, to actually make this mastery fed. And I will try my best to actually help him. Now, <laughs> as you can see, their Z has having, I don't know, maybe hundreds of thousands, maybe a million of points, I don't remember exactly, but he couldn't do much if their jungler got caught in a 2 versus 2 badly and so we actually win it. I will go and take that blue buff. If your jungler allows you and will not instantly report you and AFK <laughs> take that blue buff as often as you can, I will move around it as soon as I can. Just let me do this quick push here. I'm moving a little back because I don't know exactly where they are but then full uh, Full push sounds good. I can kill Kha'Zix 1 versus 1. I'm pretty sure if I actually position correctly on those W and E Q combos. And here we're actually going to kill Atrox if he comes, but he doesn't. And Zed is missing. I'm gonna ping this is the point where you have to ping. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, they will lose that fight. They will definitely lose that fight. Because that is there too, but I can uh, fight for this tower. Okay, that's, uh, that's a Z. With how many points again? I don't even need to follow that. I just get my free farm and free gold from here. I even see Kha'Zix. Do I? There you go. Ah, damn it. I actually hoped... I actually hoped it would have gone further away. He's so dumb, Jesus Christ. I hope that wall would have thrown me towards the blue side and then maybe do a W. But that was fine, I guess. I 
got his flash. He would have flashed regardless, so job was done now. I have exhaust for Zed if he tries to do something cornerish. Try to get me in a sweet spot. Now, this is what I find funny. That dude has like, I how many thousands of points? And I still feel this is a bit easy. Even though I had an easy start, I feel I could have done in a countless scenarios good 1 versus 1 with him on mid. Even with another champion like Serat and Corky, I wouldn't die probably to him. So that's a questionable thing to start. And... oops. You're, you're doing fine, buddy. You're not going to get stolen. Yeah, even if I stood there, I wouldn't be able, I would not be able to stop. Uh... Okay, I had to go. My memory is short, especially that I play once in a blue moon with exhaust, but still it was worth. The exhaust was fine. Because eventually, Master E caught him up. Look at the farm, by the way. The amount of farm that I possess in this game. Even though my KDA is not perfect, it's just like, it's quite small actually. Uh, even though that, I, uh, I am feeling pretty confident in my ability in this game. As uh, overall, like farming, roaming, how much kill participation, 50% kill participation. More than 50%. I believe that's fine. Do I go Zonia? Yeah, I go Zonia because of uh, double, triple, well, four main AD players right here. I mean, with a Zonia, Kha'Zix cannot one-shot you, Zed cannot one-shot you, Atrox cannot one-shot you, so you're fine. Also, I recommend to dodge every time you see the Ezreal Lux bottom because I never had one that's actually winning. That's maybe, ju I'm maybe just biased, but I literally never had one in like a lot of games, if I recall correctly. Even if I look in my history, there should be at least one, and I do not play a lot. I don't know. I think people think that's a safe long-range matchup. But it's a very difficult one to play. Where do you see? I do not have mana though. The main problem with going Zonia, for going Zonia, is that you will not one shot people that easily, but. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Israel. Bye, Israel. I do not understand really why they went for that. I do not have mana, but I will stay near this dude, <laughs> and he will actually win it for me. I mean, look at the farms, Jesus Christ. I haven't had a game this good in a while. Uh, I'm out. I don't have mana, I'm out. <laughs> I will go for that blue buff now, but it will take a while for me to kill it if I don't see a plant here. Now, what did I do in early game? Basically, I tried to help E. We've seen Kazix, we've seen his next move, we knew where he was going. We actually stopped him from taking that uh, crab. I think he wasn't in range for Spider, he had cooldown on it, or he didn't have enough time, or things like that. And we fought for it. Because Talia early is an extremely strong champion. Now, if they had a Katarina, maybe, maybe that would have been a more difficult matchup, but pre 6. That champion still doesn't deal that much damage if it cannot kill the person. Now this is an experienced Diamond 3 or 4 Z, I don't even know. So if against these players you can do decent, well, I might be a bit biased here as well because I feel I'm a bit above this elo, but due to my time constraints and such I do not have that much liberty. Uh, please let me take that, thank you. So yeah, still. Even against the good Zed. Just Zonia's 
stopwatch, exhaust, things like that. Even Tabis. Tabis would have been a great item this game. Mastery knows, Nart knows, I don't really need it. Necessarily because I have Zonias. And uh, yeah. Please do not AFK because I do not want I do not want to steal it. that thing. Okay, wait. Come on, buddy. Hook. Ah, really? I'm fucking going for it. Do I have a lantern somewhere? Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. <laughs> now we're kind of certain they will not follow. Use that. Use that. Well, unless as well wants to. Okay, good. Okay, we should recall a bit. He will flash right. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. And now, what's the next item? The next item is. Well, Morelos practically should have gone. Uh, Oblivion Orb and then complete maybe Zonias. I actually trolled with the stop watching that fight where I died, but in the rest it's fine. Never mind. Now, in the early game, if you have possibility to roam, you should roam. If you have possibility to help your jungler, help your jungler. If you are against matchups, maybe like, I don't know, Azir or n nasty matchup. Well, even in those, you can help your jungler because they need to actually set up a bit to be extremely useful, so you could help your jungler in most cases, unless you have something like, I don't know, something that's extremely useless early, like maybe something that should never fight early on, like an Ivern, maybe. Unless you catch someone first, then 2 versus 2 would be a bad idea if you put the champions face to face like that. But there are scenarios and scenarios and if you know you have an ADC that has thousands of mastery points and good ADAs and good games but not necessarily huge winners but still good games Well, you should try to gank his leg Especially when you have a trash Trash is perhaps one of the best, if not the best, champion for setting up ganks and escaping afterwards due to the combo of uh, lanterns and such Now that's Closing on the mid game, like you gank early, you jump into the mid game, you go for those towers that I actually went. Okay. You go for these towers, and uh, well, you roam bot, you got the kill. If they have time to take the first tower, well, they take the first tower without you. If they don't have time without you, you help them, and then you return mid lane. And you focus on that, on just going to the bot lane, fake roaming, maybe. A little bit of uh, wording on the side, of uh, de-wording, of vision wording, things like that. Useful things. So you have to focus around that, and then in the mid game you take as many towers as you can, go for the major objectives, maybe Inferno, maybe early Cloud Drakes, not Cloud, uh, Ocean Drakes, sorry. Maybe you get some mountain drakes and you could do an easy an easy baron later on. This dude is an animal. Well That's it for now I guess. Okay. So I got, I guess you got the general idea of what I've been trying to tell you in this game, and I was standing in the mid game, so mid game, maybe if you're ahead you try to engage in fights, then Zonia, then kill, well, engage in fights instantly all, uh, kill someone because you ulted, then you try to W that person, maybe even go on multiple targets and then Zonia and then flash away, things like that. You have to be careful with this though, because you can do a bad engage, you can do a bad... Uh, Thing, you can give a lot of gold to the wrong person and obviously you have to be careful but in the case where I've talked you can in that case where you can give gold to the support well 
if, especially if it's a dude that will not do anything much. So if it's a Xerath, the Velcos, that might be a problem. It's a brand that might be a problem, giving a lot of shutdown goal because he will scale his damage. And so you get the point. And in the late game, you try to uh, finish on these objectives, on these major objectives. Maybe get a pick with your W combo on an unwarded spot. Maybe engage somewhere. But you should be more careful in the late game than the mid game because your overall utility falls off greatly. So this is my, not necessarily level by level, but phase of the game by phase of the game guide. Like from early to late. Uh, this is actually a, hopefully a pretty useful guide. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. I have I have some major projects going on, and uh, I work a bit on them when I have time regarding this channel. And then rest, I just go on with my life because I have a lot on the plate, and it's fine. Not in the bad sense. I have, I'm just way too busy to actually focus on what I love to do. But I this is what I do in my spare time, so my spare time is a bit limited. But still, I really hope these guides are useful and I will do more things and more interesting things I will promise in the near future. And I will start on them as soon as I have free time because, well, that's rare nowadays, but I will work on it as often as I can. Whew. I really hope you enjoyed this, guys, and see you next time. Have a nice day, night, wherever you are, and have a good day week and all of that. I do not know what to say anymore. This is awkward. Goodbye. <laughs>